none of the crash theories are panning out. Investigators re-examine the best evidence they have, the pilot's comments recorded in the cockpit, Get up. and the information from the flight data recorder. Turning left to Zurichis. We should left. The timing of the captain's remark convinces investigators that his instruments were working, but that he didn't understand what the gauges were telling him. Troubling question, how could a qualified pilot become so confused that he didn't know the difference between left and right? The search for an answer takes investigators to Russia, where Captain Gruzhin learned to fly. Thank you for seeing us. They meet with Russian aviation experts. Both pilots were highly qualified. There seems to be no reason to suspect pilot error until the Russian investigators suggest a stunning theory. They tell investigators about a troubling cluster of accidents caused by Russian-trained pilots becoming confused by a crucial flight instrument. Pilots in the Soviet Union were trained to fly using an artificial horizon that looks very different from the one used in Western planes. Turning left to Zurich East, crosshair 498. In the west, the airplane symbol in the middle remains stable as the background moves. Soviet horizons work in the opposite way. The airplane symbol shows the motion, and the horizon is fixed in place. A left turn on a Soviet display looks very similar to a right turn on a Western display. In his confusion, he became convinced he was in a steep left turn. He was turning right to try to correct that problem. The captain's ah! constant attempt to level the plane he believed to be turning sharply left actually put the aircraft into a deadly spiraling dive to the right. 